Um, so yeah. Yeah, I got a story to tell. I know they want me to fail. If they throw me into a cell, I know why is she paying the bill. Cause I can afford to be quiet. My city is dying, the children are crying. Be alert, not devour. The enemy's probably you just like a lion. The biggest thing that I also wanted to just kind of like mention while I have your ears <laughs> is that um, for someone like me who has dealt with health issues, like I've shared my journey. You can go back through my channel to go find the videos where I'm, I'm particularly sharing um, my last pregnancy with my daughter where I had a lot of seizures. I had a lot of things that I was dealing with. I had to learn how to walk again. I lost like so much during that time. Um, but five years later, my daughter just turned five in March. Five years later, look at us. Like we're, we're doing great. I'm healthier. I'm losing some of the weight again and all of the things. And I'm at a point where I'm no longer having seizures in my body nor in my face. So I was sharing also my journey with dealing with epilepsy on Twitter to kind of like shine a light on things where a lot of people may not understand how hard it is for someone like me who modeled for a very long time, right? Those of you that are like my day ones or day ground zero people, like, you know, my my trajectory in my various careers and my different pivots in life. But I know for me, it was very frustrating not being able to take a selfie without realizing that the left side of my face is higher than the right side. Like and I could be pointing to the wrong side at this point, which you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and so getting to a point of being more comfortable in front of the camera and knowing that I wanted to talk, knowing that I wanted to do more podcasts where I'm guest appearing to talk about sports or politics or entertainment, I had to literally encourage myself and show myself to myself by taking these selfies. Baby, it's a lot of pictures that I ain't posted <laughs> because I had to become comfortable in this body and seeing this face again. And I think that the disconnect that most women have during a pregnancy and after a pregnancy um, isn't necessarily talked about. Now, we do deal with a lot of like body shaming, like why didn't you snap back? Why didn't you bounce back after having the baby? Like those type of things. But there are other issues that we run into during a pregnancy that can be very, very hard for us as Black women to discuss. And I think it's also because we're never really shown grace to have our weak moments, to have the moments where we're really struggling and we don't have a community that really shows up for us. So I just think it's very, very important that people understand when I post my selfies, baby, that's for me. That's for me and the women's. It's not for the male gaze. <laughs> it's, it's not for the attention that it gets. I'm grateful that it does get attention because one of the biggest things that I've learned um, that's a huge part of my influence and it makes me very powerful on online is that the men that I end up grabbing because of those selfies end up staying and paying attention to my account because of the things that I talk about and the perspectives that I share. And a lot of times I get from these men, okay, I came to your page because your nipples look nice, but like you're really smart. Like you're talking about things that I wouldn't necessarily pay attention to from someone else. And as far as I'm concerned, if that's what's going to get you to stay here or get you to really like respect women, especially black women in your lives, then, hey, by all means, let's do it. But I will be honest, like I think that picture that I'm talking about, I'm referencing, um, it was posted back in like November of last year. And I think that might have been around the time that my car was stolen at that time. I was dealing with two family deaths and then someone else had died at that time. Like when I say I was going through it, I was going through it. And I know like a lot of people deal with their issues and deal with things in life completely different. 
But I know for me, I'm always searching for my joy. I'm always searching for my peace. I'm always searching to ground myself. And my modeling career taught me how to really like take pictures of the moment or take pictures of myself in the moment so that I could reference that and understand how I felt in that moment and actually can see the growth. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I share that aspect because I think people really get like, un like really bothered when I don't say anything to them when they're like, oh my gosh, she's posting selfies to go viral or whatever. Babe, I can't help it if people like the way that I look because damn it, I look good. So let's just, <laughs> let's just keep it real. And to be fair, even if I didn't look good, I would still post what I wanted to post because it's my account. And so I just want more black women to be comfortable in who they are and how they want to express themselves and understanding that you're more than just what your roles are. You're more than just what you are to other people. You are more about sharing who you are, whose you are, and how you want to feel in those moments. So I just think overall, this hacking experience <laughs> taught me a whole lot. Because baby, when I tell you, I was calling every person I knew that had any type of IT background or what have you, child, listen, they was like, baby, that account is gone unless Twitter is going to help you. And the funny thing is, is that they renamed this as X, right? But everything that I was receiving in regards to the account and me reporting it said Twitter support. So that made me feel good in a sense because it's like, if your mama calls you Twitter, I'm going to call you Twitter. Like, it's just, it's, I'm not changing how I do that. So I will say this just to close. Um, I think it's important that I come back to my YouTube channel and come back to my community. And I'm going to do a little bit better with that. And I think this entire thing has really, really shown me why it is that you're supposed to have something more than just these few things. Because what if these um, social media platforms go away? We've got a general election coming up. Many of you know that I work, I'm a, I'm a journalist and I'm also a press strategist. And you all know that a lot of the work that I do has a lot to do with media. A lot of you aren't able to see certain news and see certain things because people are being laid off. Um, newsrooms are being cut budgets. Um, you know, certain things are being shadow banned from you being to being able to see it on Instagram and on Twitter, um, or I'll, or even Facebook because I'm not I'm not on Facebook. So let me tell you something: if you see a Facebook account, just report it. I already know that it's a couple of them out there. Just report it, okay? Because I'm tired. <laughs> and so to me, it's just very very important that I acknowledge my influence and my my ability to talk about things and kind of like share that. And it's it's very great that I even have the community still here because I haven't posted since I think I quit my last job. And baby, we flourishing over here. <laughs> like we're filming in my new house. Like I haven't been here. I've only been here for at least one, two, roughly two months. Still trying to get furniture in here. Ooh. But um, this is growth. Like literally, you know, like I'm talking, I'm talking about that viral image that happened in a three bedroom apartment uh and we're in a three bedroom home town home and i'm still shocked every day every day that i wake up that this is our life now but i worked my ass off for this and i literally worked my ass off to get back access to my twitter account so if you're following me there thank you but i'm gonna start you know moving people to other platforms and things like that just in case you know, some shit pops off by the time the general election happens and you guys will know where you can find me. So thank you for the support. Thank you for loving me. I know for the people who think, oh my God, why does she have to do this confessional type video? <laughs> have a good day. You watched it. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>